What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, okie dokie. Let me see. So, they're down two to get my, uh, my thing. I'm gonna try and uh, get bonus stuff off of this guy. Ooh, buddy. Not as much as I would hope out of that. Oh, that's right, the wind. I might need to, uh... Oh god, wrong button. No! Ah, oh, what a terrible timing for that. Gotta figure out what he's weak to. Ah, god, it hurts. So he's using darkness, so probably not darkness. I mean, mechanically, I can definitely get through it. His phase one is not that bad. When it flashes, he creates the thing. Oh. I just noticed, where's my shit? Where's my, uh... Oh god, I think it was over there. I think this is, this is exactly what I was worried about. I think my, I, I didn't even realize it, but I'm pretty sure my Nycrux is on the, the opposite wall. Because I approached the boss from that side. Uh, that's whack. Okay. Damn, it's like one of the few that, well, let's um... Use this attempt to just figure out what he's weak against. So lightning doesn't do all that well. What about fire? Spend a lot of time in the damn sky. 74 off of that. some like massive button confusion right now. From what I'm seeing so far, it won't be that hard to actually beat it. But 
This thing just has such an insane health pool. So the magic I have doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's go, let's throw you on. I think I'd rather just use my ability. I found that down here, so maybe that's good. Seventy-two, seventy-three. One button, shit. I don't think I can roll. Oh god, no, 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 no! Rolled into the tornado by mistake. Five seventy six seventy eight. So fire is better so far from what we have experienced. Damn! So for fire enchanted, that looks like that got burn off. That is huge. That is that is incredibly significant. Still taking damage up in the air. Oh my god. I want to do a phase transition. I'm gonna hit him as much as I can while we're falling. No, no, no. He's almost dead, bro. No, oh god. No, oh. Get it, yeah. Shit. No! Oh my god. The cheekiness. Okay, so fire worked super well. What would you do? I almost forgot to use that damn thing. Um, let me also... Damn, if I just used that, I would have been fine. Now that I know I can apply statuses with that, oh lord. I need you to come down. Electric is doing about as much as fire was, but I don't know if we can actually, uh... Fire is seemingly the best just because of the, the HP loss on hit. Up. I need I don't have any blue left. I don't know if I can get enough hits off with just my whip to inflict a burn status. I'm gonna try though. Yes, I can. Okay, we can do this. As soon as I land, I gotta pop my potion. Got 
Got him. And I had the potion active, so what am I pulling in? Dried cold old liver. Gross. Bear with the most powerful and twisted of spells. 12,000. So, I'll need to test this on a different playthrough, but 12,000 is the magical number to remember. And flame, dude, that's nuts. Like, I really want to give... I want to give cursed blood... Because so, well, you know what? We know what shock does. Shock is going to stun. But I don't know if we can inflict that on bosses, because right there, there was... I mean, we hit him with double... Uh, I guess whip brain, we'll call it. And it didn't happen. Cursed blood... I don't know, maybe Cursed Blood is dark damage? That would make sense. So it probably applies the damage over time. I mean, initial my initial impression is that fire is fucking busted. In like the best way. It seems to do HP percentage damage. Night Hunter's Grappling Claw. Hell yes. So we can now do the rings. place collapsing are we like trying to run or something all right so let me start marking these as a uh, uh, I'm gonna use the chest icon which doesn't really make sense but I'll use that to, to signify nothing but I was like, what if there is oh hang on so I can go left or right here is it just like a treasure room what are you I don't like statues that just sit I'm not getting charms. I'm not getting stigmas. Ingredient used by witches. What was the other thing I just picked up? Not a weapon. Moonshaped tears. Frost. That's right. There was a uh, frost stuff earlier. I didn't do anything with it. I wonder what frost does. If uh, if shock stuns, I am going to guess Frost probably just slows them. I really feel like one of these statues should have been, like, interactable. Damn, that's a crazy discovery, though. The fact that my, uh, my unique whip attack can multiply the status that I have on the weapon, like, that's fucking crazy. Probably gonna do like a big pump on damage. Cause where I'm at right now, I don't I don't feel like my I'm struggling on the health front at all. Edwin's note. Which that's the, the biggest rule with health, you know. Like part of me is like, oh I gotta hit the soft cap, but like I don't feel like I'm really struggling with health, so Maybe fuck the soft cap and we just pump our damage up more. I can always kill stuff faster. I don't gotta worry about stamina here, so. Uh, do, 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 do. What's over here? It's an elevator and a door. Probably a door that's unlocked later. Is that another red door? So I wanna start marking the red doors now that we have the grappling hook. Just go check real fast. Bruh. Yeah. 
So I think blood might be its own thing. What is Cursed Blood doing? Besides giving me a very cool visual on my weapon. <sighs> oh god. Oh, do not like spikes. Okay, you are also a... One of those. And you went... Wait, what? There's a door over there, but it's unlocked? Oh, no, no, no. Never mind. That's the that's the door I unlocked to get the treasure. The puzzle. Fuck them lanterns. Should have something to mark. Um, I don't know what the hell you do. Uh, let's put you on, and then a bomb. Never know when you're gonna need a bomb. I'm just gonna ask the devs. Actually, hang on. This game has no. Burning, cursed blood, fire, electric, frost. So, burned, electrocuted, bleeding. Cursed blood probably inflicts bleeding. Frozen, and then nightmare. I know nightmare and burned are damage over time. I assume nightmare is damage over time. I know burned is. Electrocute's a stun. Maybe Frozen's also a stun, and Bleeding is also a damage over time effect. And then Nightmare could be like an instant kill type deal. Oh, well, there's treasure here. Let's just see what awaits us in the halls. My sentiments must have fallen. My hunger could not keep me away. There are fragments scattered throughout this. What can I do to help? Find the sacred place, venture down, and seek the tone that I desire. Then the knowledge very bloodborne. A knowledge that speaks of celestial powers of which we can only dream. I've seen the ripples, a presence I cannot fathom. So you've met our goddess. She fell to this land and is scattered across it. Junus is buried deep below the cathedral, but it is said her spirit lives on, trying to communicate with those left behind. Pray tell me about these. Many would describe a glacier weapon, one that only a small collective can wield through an ancient ritual few know of. They can be found. Many of these ancient powers are said the power is that elevator back. I have heard whispers. I'm guessing he. Maybe he does like boss weapons. I probably need double jump to reach that. Your will grow. Oh, cool. Uh, automatically replenish ranged weapons with ammunition. Gratified to lay. Okay, cool. So does it just like fill up over time or when I rest maybe? Probably when I rest. All right, so just out of curiosity. So we're getting three points, three points, three points, three points, three points, three points. Okay, so there's no soft cap anytime soon. Two points, one point, two points, three, one point, two points, one point. Actually, let me... Yeah, let me pump, pump a little. Pump a little in the mind. The scales off mind. Uh, probably, probably gets even better later. I mean, I'll see. E. See. E. All right. Uh, let's see. Meet that dude's ass. Grappling hooks. I don't have the double jump. There's a grappling hook right down there. Yes. And we're on 
it down and then cross. That is 100% the same sting used in Bloodborne. I mean, the thing is, like, I, I have a feeling that FromSoft probably doesn't, like, own the sound. Um, a lot of the time FromSoft will, you know, same with, like, Art, they'll hire a company to, to make set or they'll, you know, they're hired a company, the company retains the rights. And they're like, you know, we want a dramatic kind of sting sound. Usually music that's done, that's, that's, uh in-house, but sound effects. Alright, so... I don't want to say they stole Bloodborne's sound. I have a feeling they, they probably purchased a license to it, or it's open-sourced or something. But that is absolutely the fucking sound from Bloodborne. I think I can make that. Oh no, I can. By going up. Me with them spikes right below you. You gotta fuck off with that. Dark tears powder. Alright, so dark is different from blood. I didn't go the other direction. see the spikes I get fucking paranoid. Brings back flashbacks of the first blasphemous instant dying into that one hellish platforming section filled with spikes. Alright, it's a big boy. Uh, what do I want to test on you? blood again. See if we can't get bleeding applied. Oh shit. Damn, that hit hard. Alright, we reflected bleeding. Assuming I'm fucking bleeding. Oh god damn it! Am I dead? I'm fucking dumb. I, I just assumed there was no way I was gonna die there. I just kept just like oh, I'm just gonna smack, 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 smack. Ugh, how embarrassing. All right, but I got an idea. I think I need to. Uh, I'll know once I get over there. I think maybe I deal more damage to a target once it is bleeding. Because I sure as shit didn't see any damage over time life loss like we do with, uh, with fire. Testing. Test in. All right, let's see. Fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. Okay. Excessive and unnecessary. 
72. 72. So, based on that blood, or bleeding, will increase the amount of damage that you can deal to the target. It increases their uh, physical resistance or whatever. Burning does HP percentage damage over time, which makes it fucking nutty on bosses. And probably also puts it on deck for a nerf. Shock presumably stuns the target, but it's iffy to say how that will work on bosses. I need to, well. Wonder if that guy respawns. <laughs> if he does, that gives us a nice big test dummy that will survive long enough that we can apply these status effects and test them out. Not really a fan of this run back, but you know, it's a uh, sacrifice we make. The other well, the other direction would have a bunch of jumps and bullshit. Because if shock starts doing the paralysis similar to how it does on a player, that could be pretty wild. I have a feeling bosses have like super fucking high resistance to it. Is up. Wonderful. Damn. I mean, that guy's actually a pretty good farm. Getting about 3,000 a kill off of him. And either enemies have absolutely insane. Resistance to shock. Yeah, I don't know. We'll do it. We'll kill him one more time. And then we'll, we'll wrap up in the next episode. We'll focus on exploring the new things. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's probably the best early game farm. It's just nuking that guy. 3,000 a pop. That's, I mean, that's probably like a level. A level per kill right now. Initial impressions are that fire is super good on bosses because of the damage over time. Blood, I could see some application with it. I mean, just straight more damage over time is, is all we are not damage over time, but just more damage output is nice. Frozen, we can't test, but I'd assume either a slow effect or a freeze effect. Shock, presumably, would stun, but I guess enemies have just insane resistance to it. is afflicted with darkness. Darkness is a very slow damage over time effect. One that is not comparable to fire. I know you're 2,000 per kill, not three. Still, that's not bad. 2,000 per kill and four healing injections every time you pop his ass off. It's actually pretty nice. I mean, initial impressions are go back to that one merchant buy up every fucking fire thing he had. This fire seems fucking busted. I think that's gonna be my new strat going forward with bosses, honestly, is like, 
have have a, a first attempt on the boss where I'm just like I'm gonna try and kill them obviously but my focus is gonna be on learning their movesets seeing what they do and then after that second phase or second attempt I pop fire I cook the shit out of them all right back to the great hall Yeah, we're gonna level up again. Let me see, did this guy sell fire? It'd be really cool if you sell like an infinite amount of fire. I don't have the uh, prototype blueprint. You sell upgrades, blunder blade, D Dex D instinct. No. The guy down in the mines, where we were like, did you just blast your way through here? That guy sold fire, but there was a limited amount. Next time I see him, I'm buying all the fire though, man. Fire's good. Okay, it puts one damage, two damage, one damage. So it's just going one, two, one, two, one, two. Alright. Oh. Oh my god, we are what 40? 40? Hang on, there's gotta be something I can slap out here. 40. Get me a damn level. There's a ladder back here, or a thing that goes down. Activate that. That's bullshit. That map looked like I could go down. I was robbed. All right, well, let's wrap up here. I'm gonna run and get my Nycrux. Just gotta run back there and grab it. Uh, next episode, obviously, we're gonna be seeing what we can do now that we got the grappling hook. But uh, yeah, I mean, from what I'm I'm feeling so far, this is I'm gonna finish recording this and then probably do a, another playthrough where I just bully the shit out of everything with strength weapons. The magic build could also be possibly good, but either way, catch y'all later.